All right, without further ado, let's get to it. Awesome. All right, so this is just a free basic CMS portfolio type, uh, oh no, blog type uh, template that you can get at uh, webflow.com slash templates, okay? Now, when you go to these, uh, go to a, like a template blog post page, you're set up with one layout. And this layout right here, which is already designed because it's a template, has, ooh, look at that, navigator on the left side. Ooh, I can make it bigger or smaller or dock it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this has already been set up for us. But here's a use case. What if your client is like, I want some of the blog posts to have this layout right here that I'm seeing. And I want some other blog posts within the same collection to have a different layout, you know? And I want to have up to three different layouts that I can choose from. So that would be kind of tough, right? Not necessarily. Now I'll show you how, all right? So here we go. We'll call this right here layout one, okay? So this is our first layout. We need to make two other ones. First thing I would suggest to do is go to your collections, go to your blog posts or whatever, okay? Go to edit settings and add a new field. Okay, and with this new field, go ahead and add option. Add an option field and call this layout. Okay, and from this options, let's go ahead and create three options. We'll call it layout one, add another one called layout two, and lastly, we're going to add another one called layout three. Save field, save collection. All right, there we go. And now let's go ahead and just randomly choose a layout for each one. Okay, for this, my new layouts options right here. I'm gonna choose layout one for this one. Save changes. For this blog post, I'm gonna choose layout two. Save it and then bulk cut. I'm gonna say layout three. Okay, save. Cool. Now I'm gonna exit the collections manager and seriously, we're halfway done. We've just set up the collection and now all we need to do is create the three layouts. So our first one's already done for us. What I'm gonna do with this first layout though, all of this, we have the, let's see here, we have the container, post image. Okay, so we have this, this, post content. So all three of these right here, we're gonna wrap them all in one div. So I'm gonna to go to my add elements panel, drag a div block into navigator. So much easier on the left side now, oh man. And I'm gonna put everything inside of there. So layout one, I'm gonna put everything inside of there, okay? And I don't even have to give this a class name or anything, I could just leave it as div block. I could just leave it as is, all right? Cause this is just a, a, a wrapper. I'm gonna go my element settings, and right here, this is the thing that makes it magical. This is the conditional visibility. And so I'm gonna set the conditions where if layout equals layout one, show this, okay? And now as you can see, it's gone. I can't scroll up any higher than this because this blog post, how Alex doesn't have layout one, but the, I think it was London or, Oh, no, Japan. There we go. So Japan House, yeah, this one right here is using layout one because we set that in the collections manager and that's why we can see it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I need to mute myself next time. <coughs> oh, I didn't mute myself. No, sorry. If you're wearing headphones, I'm so sorry. I'm getting over a cough. Anyways, all right. So let's go ahead and do layout two. Um, and I'm definitely going to cut that out in the clip. So I'm going to copy this div block and I'm going to go to the body and paste it. I'm going to drag this up above the separator and we'll call this the condition, the conditional right here. I'm going to set this to layout two. Save. Okay. And which one has layout two? Let me see here. 
I forgot which one. Helmet. And I can go to this pin right here just to show more, uh, more options. So I'm going to go layout. And there we go. Um, oh, there we go. So layout two is helmet. So let's go to helmet. And we're here. And let's go ahead and change some things. Okay. Let's change the layout. Like, for example, let's make it simple. Let's make the post image first. Right. And let's go ahead and... There's a container in here. It's just an image. Okay, so what if we put the, the section? Yeah, what if we put this up here? I wanna. I want this to be on top of this. So let's do this. Container. We'll just call this layout two relative. And there we go. And this H1 right here, call it layout two. Make this absolute. Push it to the bottom right there. And give it some padding. Something like that. Maybe some more padding like this so we can add a background because I can't really see it. something like that cool something like that okay so that's layout two Ooh, that's a lot of padding at the top layout two see this one should be zero well no cool so something like that layout two and then we can do it again for layout three so let's go ahead and copy and paste and then we're going here. And again, this is layout two. So this is going to be layout three. And layout three is with bowl cut. So I need to find bowl cut here. There you are. And we're going to change this again. Let's go ahead and say this one goes to the right. So yeah, you can do whatever you want. So when you do it like this, your your client or the content editor can make changes to the uh, can choose the different layouts in the in the CMS editor, and I'll show you that if you're not familiar with the CMS editor yet. So let's just put this to the side, say give it a width of like twenty percent. Ooh, it's weird. Do I have to scroll. Oh, okay. Nope. There we go. Something like this. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Something like that. So yeah, so this is layout three. Again, you can do whatever you want with the layout as long as what you're changing is within the bigger wrapper, these div blocks. So these div blocks, as you can see that they have a purple icon, um, that's what's determining the conditional visibility. Okay? All right, so yeah, that easy to change all right so let's go to the cms editor just to show you oh, i have to publish this site okay let's go ahead and editor. yeah it's <laughs> a quick tip i'm <laughs> let's go to the okay oh japan okay here we go let's go to japan this is layout one and say okay i'm a I'm your client and I'm like, no, I want this I want this post to have layout two or five or ten, however you're gonna make for your client. Click on layout two. Save or publish. I'm gonna publish it. View site. And there we go. I have the secondary layout. It's already done. If I want to change it to three, and so on and so forth. Now for posts that don't have a layout. Like for this one, this doesn't have a layout. If I go to this post page, the post content is not going to show up because we've wrapped it in that div block that has a conditional visibility. So we can't see it. So if your client's like, how come I can't see my post? Just tell them, hey, make sure to select the layout. So I'm going to save it as layout two. 
view site and there we go layout two or I can change it to layout four or four three and there we go we have that different layout and it's still editable see I can just change this hello world I can still change it as a client I can still change it and then there you go so everyone's happy you give this when you give flexibility to your client they're gonna love you for it all right so when it comes to like building stuff inside of webflow I don't really think not sure how I can do this I always think I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm a, I'm going to learn. I'm going to ask the forums. I'm going to ask the Facebook group. I'm going to ask or YouTube or Google everything until I can completely say, no, it's not possible to do because a lot of things are possible to do inside of Webflow right now. And if it's not, someone will find a workaround or someone will create something or the team at Webflow will create that next feature.